Hello and welcome to Running the Table, the podcast where we run through everything on the table in the world of sports. And we're going to recap the game in snowy Buffalo between the Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. So, Tim, are you ready to go? Let's run it. Let's do it. The Bengals defeated the Bills on the road 27 to 10. Joey January was his usual <laughs> playoff self. 23 of 36, 242 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. He was really good in a condition that didn't exactly favor him. Threw a touchdown to Jamar Chase, threw a touchdown to Hayden Hurst. Joe Mixon also had a touchdown on the ground. The entire Cincinnati offense was eating. Yeah, I mean, the Bengals look good from the jump. They started off the game strong. Um, a big thing for them is they had both parts of their offense going. Not only, I mean, we talk about since he's passing game, um, they've obviously got one of the, the best wide receiver rooms out there in terms of number one through three options. You add Hayden Hurst there as a tight end, um, but they also got the run game going and getting Joe Mixon going is important for that offense because making them more than one dimensional um, is really, really important for them. Uh, 20 carries for 105 uh, yards and a touchdown for Joe Mixon. Um, that's a great way to get them going, especially against a, a Buffalo defense that, you know, obviously it's not necessarily the Buffalo defense that we've known at times, um, but they're still a tough defense. Um, on the flip side with, with, well, they, with they, Buffalo, were, they were a tough defense, but they were really, yeah. really banged up. The injuries yes. to the Buffalo defense absolutely affected them. I mean, they only sacked Joe Burrow one time in a Cincy O-line that was missing three starters. You're missing Von Miller. You're missing Micah Hyde, who wasn't able to return. Damar Hamlin, obviously still out. And then in the middle of the game, Trey White and Jordan Poyer collide, knocking them both out of the game. Yeah. So like kind of once that happened, those are big blows to a Buffalo defense. That is a typically very defensively sound unit, but they just didn't have it, especially the way Burrow yeah. commanded the offense and was able to move the ball through the snow. And, you know, on the flip side, Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs and the Bills, they were just frustrated from the start. They couldn't really get anything going, and it showed. They were incredibly discombobulated. It's not what you usually see out of this uh, Buffalo Bills offense. Usually they're they're high-flying, get the ball moving, and and those receivers, obviously, with uh, Stefan Diggs and Gabe Davis, usually those guys are able to, to, to get going. We saw that in the Dolphins game, but this one... They just they couldn't get anything going. There was some you know miscommunications. The big thing for them, the difference between uh, Bills and the Bengals, is the Bills could not get the run game going at all. But also, that's not something that's been particularly unusual for the Bills. They've struggled to establish the run game in a lot of games this year. Um, but Devin Singletary, uh, six carries, twenty four rushing yards. I mean, you're not getting much help. So the Bengals go line up in, in the secondary. Um, and and just wait for the pass. And they were able to have some success with that. Obviously, we talk about the weather conditions, for the most part, not that uh, great for the passing game, even though the Bengals didn't find it to be much of a problem. Uh, but the Bills, this they, there was something about them that just didn't really seem like they quite had it all together. Well, Cincinnati's defense is a lot tougher than Miami's. And especially in the playoffs, it seems like not just this playoffs, but the last year's playoffs and their Super yeah. Bowl run, where their defense just stepped up at the right time. Their line I don't know was what it is. Pressure. The Bengals love the their, playoffs. <laughs> their corners were locking down, flying all over the place. Mike Hilton is awesome off the edge. Yeah. Jesse Bates, the safeties, they have playmakers all over the field. That Cincinnati defense really, really stepped up. And with not just Josh Allen, not just Stefan Diggs, who just – they're competitors – and they have hot tempers, just the Buffalo Bills themselves, like, what's it going to take? What's it going to take to know. get to that next level, you know, get to the Super Bowl? Because in the fourth season of Josh Allen's playoff runs, they've only been to the conference championship one time. And it just seems like they run into a certain roadblock where they just can't get to where they got to be and they can't get the job done. So, I mean who knows i don't know i mean there there's, seems to be a lot of underlying factors in terms of some of these games like you look at, at this game we talk about the banged up defense um with at least their offense i think something that they that they really would like to do is add some type of uh powerful as, aspect to the running game um because that's a huge part for them 
Um, but you're right. There's there, there's they've had a lot of great teams and not a lot of great playoff success to show from it. And that's a little bit mind boggling with with the state of their roster. But um, they're going to look to retool and, and see what what differences they can they can add or uh, get rid of going into next year. And I mean, yeah. we'll see a very similar team to this next year that there will still be incredibly talented um, and they'll win a lot of football games. It's only a matter, though, of. What what happens come January? What happens come come playoff time? And what type of team are you going to be then? Yeah, run it back for next year. And on the flip side, Joe Burrow, all he does is win. And him and the Bengals are going to go to Kansas City once again. A rematch of last year, Burrow and Mahomes, part two, electric boogaloo next week in the AFC Championship. Going to be a fun one. But that is our recap of the Bills and the Bengals game. If you like what we do, we've been recapping every single postseason game. So go watch those if you haven't. We'll be bringing you lots more content as the playoffs rolls along. So if you want more from us, like and subscribe. And until next time, we out.